Welcome to our channel and welcome to a show and tell. So, uh, all my model kits came in from the auction house and these are also some kits I bought. So I'm just going to put them all together and show you all of them. There's a total of eight uh, kits. And I want to give a shout out to my brother for being kind enough to A, let me use his auction paddle number. And uh, also that he picked up a tab on this. So it's like, wow, that's really, really cool. So, uh, yeah, a great brother. And um, it was really kind of him to uh, do that. So on that note, uh, let's get started before we end up with a half hour long video. Uh, we'll, I'm just going to reach down and pick one up, whatever it is it is. So the first one is a kit that uh, you don't see too often. And when it came across the auction table... I thought it was just pretty cool. And it's really cool because there was a Zayers price sticker on it. <laughs> guys remember Zayers? We spent a lot of time in Zayers. And, um, and my brother worked for Zayers in his 20s. Uh, I remember that. And uh, yeah, it was a cool store. But anyway, the first one is this Capri Turbo RS. It's still sealed up. And Zayers wanted uh, $2.77 for it. Uh, but it's pretty cool. When I saw it, I thought, man, it's pretty cool. You don't see Capris uh, too often. Uh, it's got your usual 70s uh, graphics, and then you got your uh, sunroof, uh, colorful decals, snap-on wheels, a spiffy ski rack, uh, four skis with bindings and poles, 2.3 uh, four-cylinder turbocharged engine, Recaro front and rear seats, Firestone SS radial tires and opening hood clear parts one piece capri body with fl uh, flared fenders so that's pretty cool and never been opened so that's really cool so i got this for a pretty good price uh next one is another i i bit it on it because you don't see these too often i mean they released the what, what was it called the fuzz the fuzz buster or the fuzz something i don't know I don't remember what they call it, but uh, they just released it not too long ago. And that was a Valari. And that's what this is. But uh, this is the Valari. This is a Roadrunner version. I just thought it was pretty cool. Again, it's sealed. And, uh, yeah, I had one of these. A long time ago, I had one. Best damn car I ever had. And then the Roadrunner version with the 360s, uh, for the time period, they weren't too bad. I mean, these were light cars, and... I think the 360 back then wasn't a whole lot of horsepower. Is I don't know, probably about 200 horse, maybe. Uh, so, yeah, you know, they weren't, uh, for the time period, they weren't bad performers, uh, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I picked that up. I mean, that was uh, $2.34 back in the day. So there's the uh, Valari Roadrunner, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, and then uh, I got this as soon as it came out. Uh, I finally got it. I pre-ordered it and uh, finally got it. But the uh, Transtar, the International, the 4070. This is my favorite truck as a kid. I had it on my dresser and always wanted to get it. But, you know, to find one of these kits, the original issue, you're going to pay a couple hundred at least. And it was always out of my budget. So when I heard AMT was coming out with this kit, I was happy as hell that uh, they were reissuing it. And uh, as soon as I could, I got one. So um, really happy to have this. I might pick up another one. I don't know why I love this truck. I just do. As, as I said, my favorite truck had it up on my dresser beside the bed. And I think I had a gravel trailer hooked up to it. But um, yeah, I'm really glad to get this again. Pretty cool. So we got that. And then uh, we got another truck kit. I'm looking down here, and I, re I must have been on a truck kick and not realized it. Uh, this is the GMC Astro 95. I wanted to get this because I just never got around to getting it. Of course, now they just re-released this again as a Miller truck. If I'm going to make this a beer truck, I'll make it a Coors. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get it while I could. And uh, it's a cool-looking truck, too. Uh, kind of reminds me of the International a bit. So we got that. 
And then uh, these two here usually go for a lot of money. And I was surprised I was able to get them at the auction uh, for the price I did. Because I thought for sure people are going to bid like crazy on this. And they didn't. Uh, and that was kind of surprising. Uh, the first one, and both of these kits have never been messed with. They're still sealed up inside. But the first one is the Chevy 33 panel truck. This one has never been reissued because the mold no longer exists. Uh, this it now is the Barnabas Collins Vampire Van. And they altered the mold so bad that this one has never been produced since its original issue. So, uh, And I couldn't believe I got the price I got this at. I couldn't believe nobody, well, a couple people bid it on it, but it didn't get that high. So uh, we got that, which is pretty spiffy. Uh, you can, this is a three-in-one. You can build it kind of like a hot rod. There's old Bud Anderson there. Uh, you can build it kind of like a hot rod, or you can build it completely stock. Or you can build it kind of in between there. So, uh, yeah, really cool. So we got that. And then uh, we got the Roadster. Now these two kits are in another kit that I have, the Gangbusters kit. They were reissued, reissued together. And uh, now that I have these two, and these are the original issues, I'm going to save these, but I, I might pull out that Gangbuster kit and build uh, both of them. So, But uh, yeah, this is the same way. It's a three-in-one, and it's everything is in bags inside. Nothing's been opened up. Uh, you got the stock uh, version, and then you got a uh, hot rod version, and then you got the uh, kind of in between there version. So, uh, but uh, yeah, really, really cool. This next one I picked up uh, is also another, well, fairly new kit. Uh, but I have a uh, idea behind this one. I mean, there's I have a purpose, I should say. I didn't just buy it just because. Uh, but this one is the uh, Ford uh, C900, the Hostess uh, kit. And I got this because we're not going to make it a Hostess truck. It's going to be a different livery of a company that, um, as a kid, I have a lot of fond memories of. And we'll talk about more uh, of this when we go to do it. But uh, that's why I bought this, so we got this. And then the last one came from the auction house. And I got a really good deal on this. And I got it because I was surprised when I went to get one off of eBay, the price of these now. It's like, what the hell? I mean, now they're silly, stupid in price. So when this one came across the auction table, I wanted to get it. So it's the 116th Cobra. And it's never been opened either. And I just realized I must have been on an MPC kick at the time because, well, Capri is a rebel. Everything else is MPC. Um, but it's the 427 Cobra in 116 scale. And uh, one of my favorite cars. And always, I've been wanting to get this kit for a while, but just never wanted to pay the price. And I'm definitely not going to be paying the price for one. But, yeah, I'm glad to get this uh, Cobra. And it has all kinds of cool stuff in it. Uh, comes molding in color and optional soft top, tunnel cover, all kinds of opening doors, to, uh, steerable wheels, all kinds of stuff. But so, anyway, uh, I thought this was pretty cool, and I'm I'm glad to get it. And you probably see this this year, because uh, I, I I've been wanting to, as I said, I've been wanting it for a while, and uh, it'll be fun when we get to uh, building it. Uh. I don't know if we're going to paint it since it comes molded in color. I'm going to assume it comes molded in the blue on the box art. And if it's in uh, the body's in really, really good shape, then we'll just might just just uh, we just might uh, polish it out. But uh, I don't know yet. You know, I might change the color and paint it. I don't know. But anyway, that's um, the Cobra 427. Pretty cool. And oops. I left my box over. I believe that's it. Yep, that's it. So that's our show and tell. We got some new ones. We got some auction ones. And uh, 
a lot of cool stuff. Uh, Alright guys, that's uh, it. Uh, next video will probably be our Bell of Tortuga. She's coming along pretty good. And, um, yeah. Alright, take care. We'll see you.